What is going on everybody and welcome back to some more Dying Light 2. So, um, anyway, in the last episode here, uh, we were just trying to help the Doctor. Uh, I've got my new memory stick now, I mentioned a few episodes back as well. Um, I've got a new memory stick, I still use the old one, I use the old one to move uh, videos across because it can still store more, but when I'm at my dad's I can upload more videos in the weekly thing because I'll have uh, videos on both now. So anyway, but uh, anyway, we were just uh, here. Yeah, it's been like nearly 24 hours since I last played, actually. Um, and it's uh, saved my spot here, so that's great. Anyway, let's continue on. See those domes? Sure, but the place is flooded with chemicals. The GRE had a solution for that. When they created the THV Gen Mod, they had to protect their employees from exposure. But the THV what? The chemicals. They came up with blockers. Shots that would shield their workers for a few minutes from the fumes. Fortunately, I still have two doses. Had a feeling they'd come in handy one day. Oh, those must be worth a pretty penny. They are extremely rare. For now, we will need only one for you. Wait, you're not coming? No, I, I will join you, but... First, I'd like you to restore the power to the building. You see, I have panic attacks when I'm in tight spaces or in the dark. <laughs> now you're probably thinking I'm a coward. Not at all. I think it took guts to come here. So let's do this. When you get there, first restore the power. Then I'll be able to join you. Hold out your arm. Remember, the shot shields you from the chemicals for a limited time only. Can't I take the other one too? No, not at the same time. This stuff's too strong. Go as fast as you can to the smaller dome, and from there, to the higher one. You should find a door leading inside. There. You'll be safe. Then head to the B block. There you should find the building's main circuit breaker. As soon as you turn on the electricity, the security door will unlock, and I can join you by going through the tunnel I showed you. Now go. The blocker is working. <sighs> the blocker is working. That blocker won't protect you forever. Just go. <coughs> oh Christ. Uh, just gotta get there as quickly as possible. What I see can't there. Yeah, this place is all covered in chemicals. I just realized well this is part 40 as well. 40 videos, I know, pretty epic. I don't really know how far away we are. Um. Warning! Main power circuit malfunction in Block B. Emergency protocol initiated. Veronica, I made it through the chemicals to the first dome. Great. Now just get to the second one. Find a door, a hatch, or whatever leads underground. Right. Nicely done. Nice. That's probably new. I mean, like, that's probably better than what I have. Where is it? It was this one. Not as strong as I thought it would be. Yeah, this game has been long, Veronica, but great. The entrance. So far, so good. But how do you know this place so well, by the way? I was here just once, long ago. But I have a good memory. That sounds useful. Well, sometimes it's a curse. Really. You just change. Okay. Veronica, I have a horde of infected here. Shit. I hoped it would be empty by now. Well, it isn't. Don't know if I can get through. Use the UV flashlight on your belt. That should keep them at bay. Just don't stop, Aiden. Mm. 
Lots of bitches. Uh, get the fuck away. There you are. I take. The pick this locked, but these Fucking equipped that shit. Yeah, I equipped it. I wanted to use the boomstick. Is that what it's called? That's the boomstick. I haven't actually used it at all because I bought it ages ago. I kind of forgot about it. Lockpicks are very easy to make. You saw nothing, pal. That's the other side of that. Says, don't know. I think it's more blue.
Holy shit, there's a big guy down there. Hey Veronica, I made it. The electricity's on. Great. The security panel is open. I'll try to take the elevator down to you. This place was quite the hive. Plenty of infected. But I got rid of them. They were people too, Aiden. They deserve respect. I see. I think it blew a fuse. I'm checking. Do something. Quick. Please. Don't worry. I'll fix it. Please. Don't leave me here. Don't be afraid. I just need a moment. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Infected. Yeah, calm down. I won't leave you. Wait, wait. Come on. Hit the fucking shaker thing. I can't scan the area. The game's not letting me scan. Ah. Find number one. Rusty point. Yeah, I need to find a way to restore the power, but I can't. Okay. Come on, dude. Bring <laughs> more luck. <laughs> what? Oh, come on. Dude. Oh, 
Uh, I need to craft a bunch more lockpicks. the elevators. Are you all right? See? Told you everything would work out. Just get in. been claustrophobic seriously for over 10 years so what happened then Aiden for God's sake can we not talk about this right now uh, the database where is it just give me a moment below us even farther than this Another six floors down. This is pretty high tech. Before the GRE, this complex was run by the military. They used it to monitor threats, rocket attacks, that sort of thing. That's why they called it the Observatory. Then the virus came and that was the end. So, what happened here, in the end? Well, the GRE lost control of the situation, and it all went to hell. Everything collapsed. From what I know, the scientists at first barricaded themselves inside. But soon, conditions in here were as bad as they were in the city. So, some of them quietly slipped out. And those who stayed are the ones you got rid of earlier. So the military ran this place before the GRE? Yes. It used to be a Cold War command bunker. Cold War? A period in the last century. Wars back then were fought on a grander scale. It wasn't just about day-to-day -day matters like having enough water, UV lamps, and food scraps. In a way, though, it was just like things are now. People lived every day in constant fear. That's quite the story. They used to call places like this, Witnesses to History. Great. Dark again. Wait. I'll try and figure something out. If we have electricity here, we could use it to power up the whole floor. Hmm. Or at least the cable because it's a tight fit in here. Actually, I'll uh, end this video here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Alright, bye.